Coming up on the show, we got a leaderboard update. We have our night two New York retrospective video, and we have so many other announcements that we just cannot wait to get to, so let's get to it. We're bucking around live on Twitch. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Bucking Around, your one-stop shop for everything buck hunters need to know. I'm Callum, joined, as always, by Mike Colesworthy. Hello. David Gonzalez in the production. Hi. And Jess Petro. How's it going, Jess? <coughs> Is Mike wearing shorts? Yeah. Gaze wow, upon my legs. Oh, look at those <laughs> sexy legs. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Jesse says I, I look you... short when I do this. I say I'm sitting here just like picturing Jesse in her office just going, No! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. Hey everybody. How's it Welcome everyone to Bucking Around. Everyone doing well? Yeah, I see yeah, lots, lots of activity in the chat. Federico's bummed you missed NYC. We are also bummed you missed NYC. We were hoping to see you there. And but, uh, Chib, Lexi, did you really stay up till sunrise? I would believe it. I mean, they were going pretty hard in New York, but yeah, we will, sunrise? <laughs> we will get to that a little later in the show. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. It's going to be a good one. Like, yeah. you guys are really going to enjoy this one. I think we've got, we've got hotel information. We've got VIP information. We have a special surprise. We have a special surprise with information. And we've got other information in the forms of leaderboards. So, uh, and Mike. other information in the form of information. And, and, yes. and just some general information right, for you. Right, so without further ado, it's leaderboard information update time! I feel like it's not leaderboard oh. update. Did I and now you can talk. <laughs> and now you can talk. Usually that's what I do. <laughs> I, I, always, I always feel like one of us. Somebody does somebody it every does single it. Every time. episode. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody, to your leaderboard update of the week. Uh, let's dive right in as Callum plays the game. Let's take a look. American skill-based players, what are our big stories? Actually, first big story, we have, we have 1,622 hunters. Uh, now, in the past, we've been explaining how many uh, Greyhound buses you guys could fill. <laughs> But I'm excited to announce that we can now officially fill just under eight Chili's restaurants. So, eight Chili's! Wow. Way to go, Chili's. Not a sponsor yet. Wink. Ding. All right, cool. I feel like for the amount of times we've done that good old wink, we should have gotten more Yeah, of them by seriously. Now. Somebody at Chili's hit me up. Uh, I want my baby back. Let's talk about the big stories. Oh, good God. American skill base. Now, Sarah Erlinson, you can see bumping her way up into the top 10 this week. And Mason Powell, I see you over there, buddy, uh, making his presence known before our Portland tour stop. So way to go, Mason. We will see you soon, bud. Uh, let me know if you're in the chat today, by the way. Uh, let's hop over to American Wild Cards. Uh... 13th place, you always throw me off. This uh, Dave Barusha, Barutia. I no! Always, I always think that's yes. Dave Bautista from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would love <laughs> if Drax the Destroyer was actually a buck hunter. He probably is. I still haven't seen the new one. Oh, it's uh, it worth it? the first one's better. The first one's better, but it's still yeah. good, and yeah. it's still it's really fun. I am H O. Yeah, sure. Uh, also, Shogun and Stewie F and Stovall, who are both new on the boards this week. You guys got to fix your names eventually. I'm glad you're having your fun, but yeah, Mike, uh, what if what if red means mean? Yeah, well, what if number nine Shogun is actually the Shogun and he's, he's actually right. the Japanese Shogun? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? If there was an, if there was a full last name, I might be inclined to believe it, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, if the name is red, it means that you guys are clearly not going by your legal names, which means that we can't send you an invite to the World Championship. So. Do not miss out because both of you guys are in the wild card running right now. Uh, and that goes for the rest of you. We're going to get to more red names later. Australian skill based. Now then, Australia's uh, star hunters, you can kind of see, are settling into positions here. Uh, with the exception of Sally Potter and Frontbone Backbone, another red name. Frontbone Backbone. Frontbone Backbone. <laughs> Sally Potter pushing down the competition all around her. Uh, yeah, you can see that this is sort of the calm before the storm, I like to say, because we are getting ready to launch into our third uh, qualifier tournament. So things are going to get all topsy-turvy again before long here. Uh, yeah, let's, next, I guess not next week, but the following week. Might following be week. Little, yeah, a yeah. screwy. Let's, uh, let's hop into our Australian wild card, shall we? You and got before one you do that, name. Before you do that, Mike, I just, Federico, Chris Freem looks like me. <laughs> 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 all right, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Australian wild cards, we have Michael Hassler uh, appearing on the boards this week and pushing Sim Harmony down a spot. Not a whole lot of activity other than that, so let's move on. Canada! We'll Canada on. has movement! What? Whoa! And even when Canada what? has movement, Mike has movement. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. good God. Uh, good job. I don't want to be on the show anymore. <laughs> what was that? Good job, uh, Curtis White. Uh, popping up into 10th place there and causing some kind of change. Oh. <laughs> causing some kind of change. Canada, you're killing me. All right, so let's move on to our lady <laughs> skill base, shall we? Uh, Jacqueline and Lauren do a little do -si do this week and not much else to, uh, to speak of there. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and move along to a ladies, ladies wild card. Uh, this was a big week for, uh, for Malia Bruce. I don't think we, we uh, have met Malia. Um, I think that's one of our new names this year, and clearly uh, she's, uh, she's moving up the ranks. So 15th place, bumping uh, Sherry Hansen, Chase, and, uh, and Julia all down a spot there. So also congrats to Elena, who has, who has uh, gone up a, a tick there. So let's move on. Top hunting parties. Well, this is no movement. No movement here, dude. but I gotta say, Very nice. at this point, I'm not super surprised. Minnesota monsters, I have a feeling, are gonna hold on to first the whole time. See if somebody can prove me wrong. I know Beldenville blasters are hot on their heels. So, <laughs> Drew Baldock, I'm glad Mike is no longer constipated. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Is that the, is that the dance? And Jess says he fakes it well. I guess I guess I'm constipated. I, that's that's news to me. All right, let's that's move. News to let's me. move on to our leading locations. Holy smokes! Clyde's corner has done the unthinkable and stolen the throne from Billy's on Grand. This means war. You got to know that the people at Billy's are not happy about that. It's uh, going down. It's going down. And, uh, yeah, winter is coming or something. Oh, you guys are <laughs> yeah. so ridiculous. I don't know. You said winter is coming. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually it's coming. The, All right. the, the world championship <laughs> happens before winter even happens. Right. But it's still coming. It's still coming. <laughs> During the uh, championship, it'll officially be coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Steampunk has gone <laughs> up a, a tick there and uh, knocking the rail yard down, so... Clyde's corner, Billy's on grand. It's going to be uh, quite a, a, a title fight here. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, let's move on to the ranked uh, global top 12. Uh, Sean Chadwick has a, has a new name, everybody, and this time it is uh, Was It The Chad? I have no idea what that's a reference to, so I can't award it any points. Uh, I feel like I recognize that, but I, I can't remember what it's from. All right. If you think of it, let yeah, us know. Yeah, let us know in the chat if you know it. Uh, if you know what Chad is getting at here. There's one. And then, uh, one cannonball. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, 100% yeah, yeah. And there's one cannonball. Australia this week has made a big push, but uh, they can't quite break the tie. Thanks in part to newcomers like Jerry Lacasse. I don't think we've uh, talked about Jerry before. This might be his uh, debut in the top 12 there. So uh, nicely done. Nicely done. And uh, without further ado, I think it's time to hop over into the buckshot of the week. What do you think, Jess? I think so. This buckshot is actually coming from a uh, last world qualifier stop. And we've got Mike just doing what he does best, which just, is just shot entertaining, calling. showing people how it's done. These are actually two uh, actually two newcomers on the right there mm -hmm. in the with the green gun. So it was, yeah, it see was definitely Charles fun there. to watch. Charles yeah, is the look... drunkest person I've ever met, and, I, <laughs> and I've met Jared. <laughs> Yeah, and I was trying to look closer at the picture, but if you look at her face in the, with the green gun, she looks like she is. Uh, She's thrilled the bits. Up her pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I remember that clearly. New player, she is very excited yeah. to, to hit her first yeah. buck. So. Mike yeah, doing yeah. what he does best, pointing and screaming. Pointing and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> pointing and screaming. Thank you. Nailed Lance. it. Yeah, that's that's what I do. Ah! All right. Sorry about your headphone <laughs> alert. Yeah, 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 really, right. everybody who watches this show is now being checked into it. Right. audio it's just. <laughs> An Here audiologist? Audiologist. 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 Cool. Uh, <laughs> I hope I hope I got that right. My girlfriend is going to be like sitting there just going, damn it, I've told him a dozen times it's audiologist. Okay. <laughs> what are you bringing our attention to? What do we got? Uh, Moscow Whistle. Who's oh. got the play mechanics mailing address? Don't worry about why. Ooh. Oh. Uh, that seems Go a little Google ominous. Does. But Moscow, it's hit us up. You know where to find us. We'll, uh, we'll get you that. Speaking of night two, though. It wasn't even speaking of night two. We were talking about it <laughs> at some point. 
<laughs> way off from up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's because you're still recovering from night one of the tour. Night two. Well, night one was bad. Night two. Well, night two wasn't too bad. Get with it. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> night one of the tour. Night two. Where did we go, Mike? Night two, we went to Ace Bar, which was a very cool, uh, cool joint uh, in the kind of a suburban area of the city, if that's such a thing. But it was, it was kind of a residential area, I guess I should say. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's as neighborhood as you get in New York City. Yeah. It wasn't far from, you know, we went to Katz's Deli right before that. It was oh, pretty my good. God. Yeah, we had oh the most my amazing God. pastrami. Dude. I still crave those pastrami. Yeah, oh. seriously. Like, I, just, I still don't know if I'm ready for pastrami mm -hmm. after that. This much meat. I'm trying to find, like, a black background. Like, that much meat mm -hmm. on just two. Like, it was literally just bread and meat. <laughs> and, yeah. And we could Can't go, go on along on. with that. We dude, could, I, I've never seen some, like, someone so small. Like, Dan's, <laughs> a, like, a thin dude. Yeah. And he's just. Pounded it. Like, He's and gone. the appetite. Like, yeah. He pounded that meat. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get into the... Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to roll our video from night two. Check it out. Right. What's going on, guys? Callum and Mike here back for night two of our New York tour stop. Also number two. Uh, we're here tonight at Ace Bar. Last night we saw Derek Miklusak take home the trophy, so we're going to go inside oh, and see who wins tonight. I'm very hungover. Hello. Okay, introduce yourself to the camera. How you doing? I'm Erica. Okay, and how long have you been playing Big Buck HD? I've been playing for a while. Didn't go too well today, but you know, it's okay. It happens. Have you been playing for a while? Thank yeah, you No. You have. Playing, I played for a little while, yeah, with some of my co-workers okay. down the block on 4th Street, yeah. Okay, so your first round you got crushed? Yeah, it, was, it, was in, it wasn't cute, but it was all right. I could take it. Okay, you know, but you're still in it. You get to go to the reload bracket. Yes. Is there anything you're going to do different going into your next round? I'm not going to sleep first... on my opponent. Okay. That's what happened. Cut throat. You're <laughs> That's gonna be it. Cut throat. That's it. I got to be serious. I'm okay. Ready. Well, I think that energy might take her to the end. We'll have to see. 50 bucks is on the line. What would you do if you won 50 to bucks tonight? You, what would it. you do? I don't know. I'm going to go out and drink. <laughs> okay, I think that's a good answer. <laughs> My name is Jim Cherneski. I'm from New York. I was originally here to support, got talked into playing, having a good time. Okay, and how long have you been playing Big Buck Hunter? A uh, couple of months, is that? Okay, a couple of months. Yeah. And how do you feel like you did tonight in the tournament? Uh, I feel like... I feel like based on where I was placed, I came out pretty well. Okay, are you still in it? No. Okay, so you're Well, out. no, I think I'm you're in the, the reload. The reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he still has a shot. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do this time around? Just going to get more, you know, more in the zone. If you win that big fat $50, what is the first thing you're going to do? Oh my gosh. Buy a round for the bar. Oh, he's going to buy a round for the like, bar. Why not? Just, just throw that? it back in the system. Okay. You know, you got to be nice. Okay, so we got to we gotta stick around and you must win. All right, All right pound it. Bam. Sitting here at Ace Bar in New York City. It's a beautiful night. I'm here with Charlie, never Charles. Why don't you like to go by Charles? It's not that I don't like to go by Charles, it's just everyone, including my parents, call me Charlie. Okay, all right, so it's born and raised without me. Definitely. So you've been kind of making waves in the Big Buck community. I've been hearing that you are pretty new. How long have you been playing? Um, the first Monday night that we played of this league was, I think, 10 weeks ago, okay. and that was the first time that I played. I had played, um, like most people play, they, they okay. are at a bar and they see it and they want to play. And you're knocking people out in there. He's knocking people out, left and right. So that is, that does appear to be what's happening in there. Maybe. I'm surprising myself oh, are you? with what's going on. Yeah. So are definitely. you playing to qualify for the World Championship? I really was not planning to try to qualify for the World Championship. I really didn't think that uh, that was where I was at. Are you going to start tonight, maybe? Maybe tomorrow? 
You'll see, yeah. I'll see how I feel uh, in the morning. Okay, so we'll see if we see him on the leaderboard. I'll wake up and see if this was all a dream. I, I hope we see you on the leaderboard, Charlie. Never Charles. All right, thanks, thanks for hanging out. We had a bunch of good interviews, at least 40 minutes. If Mike can use any of that, it'll be awesome to see what he can use. Oh, absolutely not. I'm here with Derek. He was last night's winner, won the big fat 50 bucks. How many people do you think have peed on this step that we're sitting on right now? Not including me, four to five people today. Have you ever? No, it's literally, this. when we arrived, I was eating a falafel. <laughs> I just had to take a quick break. Were you eating a falafel that you bought with the $50 that you won last night? Yeah, I, <laughs> yes. I had to parse out the $50. I wow. actually gave part of it to my brother. He then mowed me back, and then I was like, thank God. You I share your today. winnings with your brother. No, I just, I basically laundered the money through a series of Bitcoin and cash transactions. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Okay. And that's why we're here, sitting on a piece of step. And you're going for second win tonight, right? You're still in the game. I actually just lost out to my teammate, Andy Kaliba, who is faster than all of us. By this much. You just by lost just by a hair, this much. By just, just a, a hair. In the, but down to the bonus. But I think we may keep the victories within our team this whole week. So I won last night. I think Andy or Drew or Charlie are still in it. So okay, so who's your money on? If you could pick one, who's your money on to win tonight? Andy is incredibly fast and like confusingly fast to me. But Charlie has been on fire the entire night. Charlie so I think Charlie might come through. He's been through. surprising us, huh? Charlie has been killing it. So okay, I think so you're going to go for the, the new and blood? And Charlie is a newcomer. Yeah. He joined the Buck League Everybody's team Everybody's talking this, about Charlie. This season and has now just stepped it up. Okay, so, so money's on Charlie? My money's on Charlie. All right, let's see if it, if it goes to Charlie. We'll see if Derek gets it right. What's up guys, we're here with the champ for the night, Jaron Sean Stafford Anderson. How does it feel to be $50 richer, Jaron? It feels great yep. to have Sean done the dirty work for me. Yep. I hear that that first round was a grueler. It was, it was. And, uh, but I wasn't even here for it, I was just at home. It, and then I was like, oh <laughs> sh I guess I should probably go to uh, the bar. And then yeah, I yeah, got on should. the train and then 30 minutes later I was like in a tournament all of a sudden. So it's great. It feels Still great. sharp as ever. Now we were just talking earlier about how you were actually at the first ever World Championship. I was. What I, was that experience like? It was good. There weren't so many people there. I yeah. feel like there were, I don't, and you probably would know how many contenders there were. I finished in the middle of the field. Yep. It was nice. My problem was that I had stayed sober in order to, you know, stay sharp. And yeah, then like, uh, once I lost, the open bar was closing, and I was oh. like, <laughs> "That was my lesson learned." I was like, "No, get yeah. the up immediately there and go, just keep that go. going." Yeah, yeah. And maintain the buzz. Right? Maintain the buzz. So I, now we're here, 2017, 10 years later, World Championship in Vegas this year. I've already booked my ticket. That's I hate Vegas. Favorite. I think it's a shit town, but. <laughs> 
It's 10 year Brutal. anniversary. Three days in Vegas, that's enough. <laughs> we might lose some people. I feel like there have been some it's, concerns expressed yeah. about the safety of people, we're gonna, of competitors. You're going to lose some people. I mean, gonna people are going to have to. Not, yeah. Yeah. You're, probably. you're going to do everything you can to not lose some people. Well, you're going to lose some people. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, Jared. Yeah, sure. The party's just getting started. There, so. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Yeah. I'll be here. See Thanks, you guys man. in Vegas. Uh, It's it's gonna happen. Yeah, we're it's, gonna lose someone. It's probably it's probably gonna happen. <laughs> I can't like. I mean, we're going don't, to lose someone don't in Vegas. Jinx it. I'm not jinxing it because it's going to happen. You can't jinx something that's going to. Happen. Don't get lost in Vegas. <laughs> Just don't. Just don't do it. Scary but you know time. what? I won't, I, I have such a good transition into the next port, but let's keep going. About this <laughs> one, one of the things that we noticed uh, in all of the uh, our experiences in New York, but especially in night two, was the influx of new players. Yeah, mm. and uh, New York crowd, correct me if I'm wrong, but Charlie, Killer Queen convert, yep. uh, same thing we had in San Francisco, the uh, yep. bringer of the doughbell, That's right. which is now a staple part of the set, and will be joining <laughs> us uh, at our next tour stop, begrudgingly, I'm sure, of all the bar owners. But uh, Sorry. Yeah. Tons of new players. It's yeah. awesome. Most of the interviews you saw there, with the, ex the exception of uh, Jaren at the end, were players who are new to World Championship competition this year. So hopefully World Championship competition. But, I'm really uh, hoping yeah. Charlie comes out and competes because he kicked ass. Like yeah. third place out of nowhere, taking down some big names. Uh, so yeah. we're going to put the onus on uh, the New York crowd. Yeah, make Alexis, sure Charlie... I, know, I know that you talk to Charlie all the time, Alexis, so uh, get make, on him about that. Make sure he competes because we talked about it at the end of the night and he was, he was on the edge. It's like, yeah, but I've only been playing for three months. And we're like, yeah, but you just kicked everyone's asses yeah. apart from the guy who got first and the girl who got second. So, like, yeah. why not? It's also important to note that if you come in last in the World Championship, you still get money. Right. And, 100 bucks, something and like that. No also, empty pockets. Also no very drunk. Pockets. No empty livers. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I don't think it's actually stored there. But you know what? That's fine. We're <laughs> it's not, all the same. We're not going to have a biology <laughs> class here on the show. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, see, Sarah, Sarah has the right idea. Yeah. It's her own husband if she's prepared to lose it. It was nice knowing Jared. <laughs> like, yeah. She knows what's going on. Uh, but before we lose people in Las Vegas, yeah. we've got some people to lose in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, our Portland stop is coming up, so look forward to that, guys. Uh, we will be there July 6th and 7th, uh, Commodore Lounge on the 6th, Quarter World on the 7th, and it is going to be, pardon the pun, buck wild, because uh, we've got word that we're going to have kind of a bigger production. It's going to be fun. It's, yeah. Got, it's it's, it's uh, going to be awesome. Portland's yeah. going to be taking care of us. Uh, but really quick, what are you guys talking about dying? No one's going to die. We're just going to lose someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are taking this to the extreme. We specifically, <laughs> legally, when, did not use the word Skippy die. lost his shoe. Okay? Yeah, Skippy lost right. his shoe. Right. We're going to lose a Skippy tomato tomato. <laughs> uh, but guys, Fed, Fed brought up a, a good idea, though. Bring a GPS. And leashes. Couldn't help. And, and Keep leashes. your friends on leashes. Uh, no guys, stick, if you no are coming out. necklaces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. But if you are coming out to Portland uh, or really anywhere else in the United States, if you guys want to make your own qualifier party without us there, uh, of course, check out the new events page on BigBuckHD.com. You can upload your own event, uh, including dates, graphics, the whole nine yards, uh, yeah. and it will be displayed for the entire community on the Big Buck HD website. Yeah, we may not be there, but it'll still be a good time. But we might be there at the end of qualifiers. If you've got a leading location, so keep working on that, guys. Uh... Shall we move on? Information! Information! Oh, I'm excited Callum about this. Callum loves this is, information. This All is right. what you guys have been waiting for. Yeah. This is the moment. This is the moment. Mm -hmm. Are we going <laughs> to... <laughs> How do we do this? Do we wanna... it's, no. time, it's time to reveal your official 2017 World Championship Hotel Accommodations. Throw it up there. There we go. New York, New York. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now we're talking, baby. Uh, important to note here, New York, New York is... Literally right across the street. So and it has the roller coaster that Federico has been craving about. That's right. Uh, but seriously, guys, craving you, about he's, he's been craving. craving it. <laughs> I was hoping I you were going to call him out on that. Yeah. Somebody's got to call you out on these things. <laughs> it's whatever. Anyway, guys, this venue could not be closer to the tournament venue. It is literally down some stairs, across a red light, across one more red light, 
and then through a bunch of bars that, and restaurants. That even it's, makes it sound longer than it hey is. Guys, yeah. It's hey across guys, the I have a question. Corner. What's up? What's is that? that? Is that $150 a special rate just for us? Absolutely. It is. It is. How yeah. do we get that rate? What do we tell them? Well, bring back up that slate. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into the information. <laughs> <laughs> Go to tinyurl.com slash hotel, and that will take you to a special page that New York, New York put together just for us. Uh, where you can get that $150 per night rate. And it's important to note here that there are also block rate uh, upgrades available. So if you're looking for something a little bigger than the standard uh, room, that room, by the way, the, the 150 room is the best possible price that you can get on a room. Oh, wow. Um, and then, yeah, if you're looking looking for something a little bigger and fancier, that we can get a, a rate on that too. So that's pretty cool. Exactly. Is, so the, is the rate good for uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or just Friday, Saturday? Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. So the rate is good for Friday, Saturday. Um, it's an awesome deal. The hotel is super great. That's where we actually stayed when we were out scouting the venues. Yeah. Uh, the 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 casino floor has this entire area that's dedicated to. New York style restaurants and kind of the Brooklyn street vibe. So there's that's cool floor vents that actually shoot out like steam and stuff. We can't Dude. wait to see what you actual New Yorkers think of it. But you know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's going to be great. Yeah, uh, the hotel's yeah. great. Yes. They're giving us a crazy good deal. Hope you guys get on it uh, as soon as you can. Don't wait for this because, as we said, uh, there are a limited number of rooms. Yep, yep. So uh, scoop those up while you can. There, there are a limited number available. Now, shall we move on? While we're talking about the VIP experience, I'm on point with the segues today. Let's talk about the VIP. Were we talking package. about the VIP? Okay. <laughs> New York, New York. No, I don't think we were ever talking about a VIP. It's a experience. VIP experience to get a great deal at a great hotel. Mm. And now we're talking about the VIP spectator pass. Uh, of course, this is for your friends, your family, whoever you guys bring in uh, to town. If you want them to get free food and drink, uh, make sure you check out this URL: www.bbwc vip at a dot eventbrite dot com and That's this right. is a two-day oh. pass it's 160 dollars and it will give you priority access to the hard rock it'll make sure that if we do hit capacity you always have your way back in before everybody else it'll give you unlimited beer and wine at the vip bar which is one of the best reasons to be at the world championship yeah and of course the free vip buffet from 6 to 9 p.m both nights and that is subject to change so hang tight on that but you also get a commemorative wristband and something in very small text from all the way back here. Buffet times, subject to yeah. change. Nailed yeah, it. You already you said it. Yeah. Nailed it. Now, <laughs> fed, fed brought up a good question. What's that? All competitors get VIP status, though, that's right? That's right, yes. That's why this is labeled VIP spectator, because if you are a qualified player, this is stuff that you get anyway. Uh, so this is for friends and family who want to party like a player uh, and be right there with you in the VIP areas. Um, it's, it's a great deal. It's, it's an awesome deal, and don't yeah. for, like don't panic if you don't buy a VIP pass. You can always go to the bar, which operates on a cash uh, bar basis, uh, and you also have access to a menu in which you can order food. But depending on how long you're there, uh, how much you like to drink, and how much you like to get down with all the buck hunters, it's absolutely a phenomenal deal. By the way, the food's real good. Oh my gosh, it's always so good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I'm excited. we did the tasting. We know what you guys are in for, and we think you're going to be very pleased. So, lots to look forward to there. Um, on the topic of not looking forward to things, <laughs> let's move into the last piece. Let's of the show. move into our nice little surprise. Now, uh, not many of you had, have uh, had the opportunity to visit us here uh, at the Internet Bar. We know Drew Baldock and uh, Brenton Garrity. A couple, a couple of lucky folks have had a chance to come party with us. But if you want to come down, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> Just which, which has anyway. surely left uh, most of you out there dreaming of what it must be like to spin the wheel of tomfoolery. That's right. <laughs> which. You just said, so we're making your dream come true today. <laughs> so we're making your dream come true today. Uh, guys, we have officially uploaded a digital wheel of tomfoolery. Whoa! There it is. You can play it uh, on your desktop, your smartphone, really any device that has access to the internet. It is up there right now. Some of you may have noticed it uh, earlier today, if you're eagle-eyed, like Federico, maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the Wheel of Tomfoolery, totally customizable, totally spinnable, and totally going to ruin your night. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. As Mike said, it works on any device, so you can take this down on your phone to the bar. You can upload your own wheel or use the default wheel that we have uploaded. Uh, we tried to remove what we Figured you probably didn't have, like, the horse mask and stuff like this. Well, I mean, the, the default stuff that's on there, yes, is stuff that we, we would hope that you guys are able to do. But in the event that you 
do have and don't have it, or you want to add some other things, you have that power. Yeah, so. here, here's the uh, example here. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, so yeah, so before <laughs> we spin it, uh, we're going to give you guys an example. We're going to spin the wheel. Uh, whatever shot it ends up on, uh, Mike and I are going to do well, as we end the show. Yep. What I'm showing currently is the, uh, the defaults. I'm the, just showing everyone. Sure. And what you're able to do, you can come down here to make your own tab, and it'll bring up all of these nifty blank boxes. And what we did was we ended up... Uh, we went ahead and preloaded this. There you go. To <laughs> current shots that we have available <laughs> in the internet bar. Yep. Van Hoomison. Now someone will die. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Maybe Probably. before the world championship. Probably. No, nobody's going to die. People are only going to get lost. Just get, yes. just get lost. All, All right. right. Uh, guys, we're going to wrap up this show. It's been awesome having you. We were excited about the information. Let us know what you think. Uh, even more so, all of our social handles. Can we get those popped up real quick yep, for yep, a second? Yep. If you guys do uh, go through and customize your own wheels uh, or have ideas or play the wheel or whatever it may be, send those into our handles over there. Do you have my bed? <laughs> send them into the handles <laughs> over there. Uh, we'd love to see what you guys do with them. Uh, but for now, we're going to give the wheel, the digital wheel, a spin Yeah. and uh, yeah. wrap up the show. So uh, Let's do it. You want to go right. first or should I? Uh, ladies first. Dang. Right. So this is, this Whoa, like, that was a nice burn. All right, you give can't a little see it, spin there. All right. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, God. I'm already anxious for you. There are a couple on here that I really don't want to do. Yeah, oh, 100%. Cheap vodka. Cheap vodka. Okay. Okay. So that's that's, right. that's not bad. That's, that's not tolerable. The, that's not the worst thing we've done on the show. All right, let's By far. give it another spin. Yeah, and we'll pour them up in a second. Spill. This, one's, spin, this spin. one is for me. Oh, Get that please not lime spin. juice, please not lime juice, please not lime juice. Oh, give me a break. Lime juice is not even going to be hard. Straight lime juice, a shot of it, though? Oh, that's not hard. Horrible. It's lime juice, isn't it? Yeah. Chocolate, Chocolate syrup. syrup. Right. Woo! Oh, that's not bad <laughs> Years of torture paying off. Uh, years. <laughs> years. <laughs> years. Oh, you guys both year. lucked year. out with that year. one. Year of torture. Year of torture. I got to say, I'm though. okay with this. I'm you're not just pouring it in your mouth. You have to have it out of yeah, shot glass. That's... Oh no, poor me. I gotta pour my chocolate syrup in a shot glass. Hey everybody, get ready to <laughs> screenshot this because I have a feeling it's gonna make for a really uncomfortable gif of It's Calum just gonna be me sitting there just like just waiting. <laughs> just any Sorry day. Sorry for that audio <laughs> assault. Any day. Here, right. let's let's switch to this camera. We'll okay, I'm gonna move over to the front of the bar. I was just gonna say that. There we oh, are. Well, there we go. Uh boy. This is gonna take a while. Uh, <laughs> big buck girl, OMG, yeah. make your own button, amazing. Yeah, you know what, Sarah? I I mean like Anyone can do this, but this would be awesome to see live streamed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you guys are, you know, playing the wheel of tomfoolery at your local bar, be sure to film it or at least yes. document it and let us know how it goes. Uh, we would be thrilled to feature you guys on the show. Um, I feel like you get a lot of a lot of participation out of just random people with yeah. with this digital wheel. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, and the, you know what? The right. the real wheel is not going away, uh, and I have a feeling it won't go away in places like New York. Uh, but it's just it offers the opportunity for accessibility. Accessibility. Yes. Accessibility. All right. So, oh, man, how am I going to do this chocolatey shot? Just use your tongue. Cal, I'm always complaining, even when you get something good. I'm dancing. How am I complaining? How am I going to eat all this as, chocolate? I'm happy as can be. Oh, how am I going to eat this chocolate I'm today? I'm so happy about this. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> this is going to take a minute, guys. Just use your tongue. Just Open up your throat, Callum. Just scoop it up. Open up your throat. <laughs> Man, that it is like bad. It's so good, but it like doesn't move. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> you can also use your fingers. <laughs> Come on, you're That's English. Thank you guys so much for joining <laughs> us here on this week's show. <laughs> it's called Bucking Around. <laughs> well, I don't that's pretty do, much all we do. I don't normally do the outro, so, you that's, know. <laughs> it's been a pleasure having you, as always. Oh, hey. hey. Thanks for oh, following. Oh, Bellatrixie. Bellatrix. Bell Bell Thanks. Bell 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 what? There's an I after. Do we have a new follower? Bellatrixie follow! Bellatrixie. Hey! hey! Welcome time. to the show. And now we're leaving you. Bye. This has been awesome. <laughs> Guys, I'm Callum. This is Mike. Hey. David's over here. Hello. Jess is over here. Adios. And we're the cast and crew of Bucking Around. You guys have a good night. Peace.